Hi, my name is Ilma. Welcome to my channel. And I post uh, vlogs every day for nine years now. And today I'd like to share Colossians 4 verses 5 to 6. Here's my, here's the Word of God. Conduct yourselves with wisdom toward outsiders, making the most of the opportunity. Your speech must always be with grace, as though seasoned with salt, so that you will know how you should respond to each person. Colossians 4, 5-6. to six. And here's my devotional. Instruction on the believer's public life. In these verses, Paul continues his instructions to the Colossian believers. In this part of his letter, he instructs them on the following. First, to exercise wisdom towards people outside their faith or unbelievers. Second, to make use of each of every chance they can to witness to those who do not know God. Third, to speak graciously with gentleness and love. And lastly, to be observant of other people so they can be wise in responding to each of them. And how do you exercise wisdom to unbelievers? We can't just be wise without outwardly manifesting it. Why is it important to especially watch yourself when you are with unbelievers? Because they watch every move we do. They want to see if we walk our talk. We need to convince them with our lives that our faith is making Jesus attractive to them. According to theologyofwork.com, the ancient city of Colossae was built on a major trade route through the Lycus River Valley. In the Roman province of Asia Minor, in the southwest corner of modern-day Turkey, there the, Coloss the, Col the Colossians manufactured a beautiful dark red wool cloth, cloth called Colossinum, for which the city became famous. Their city was busy with trading and most people forget to focus on using connections with others as a way to bring the good news. Most people are busy earning money and enriching themselves. How do we become gracious in our speech and attractive to others? We can't be able to be gracious if we don't know Christ. He is the epitome of grace and love. We need to be able to follow how Christ was abundant in grace and love. It is love that makes everything full of grace. Wright comments that the word grace has, in Greek as in English, the possible double meaning of God's grace and human graciousness. To be able to observe others is a gift that comes with those who have walked in the Spirit. As we become Christians, the Holy Spirit uses us as a vessel to be sensitive to others. He leads us away from selfishness to selflessness. It is only by depending on God's Spirit that we will see others the way God sees them. We can't see others when we don't truly love as Christ loves us. Reflection. Why did Paul emphasize the importance of living a public life with integrity. Well, can you imagine if you say something and then you do otherwise? Um, just, just to remember how when you say to your child, don't do this, and then you actually do it, it becomes null, it becomes void. What you say doesn't matter if what you say you don't do. Well, the Bible says that we're not just supposed to hear the Word of God, but we're supposed to do it. So, in other words, <clears throat> it is important for us to have a public life that is a reflection of our inner life. So, if our inner life is shallow, mundane, and uh, flesh of the flesh, then we will not have integrity because we will be working in the flesh, not in the spirit. So when we do not know the Lord, we're not going to have wisdom. So we, we don't ha have wisdom, we will not be able to do the right thing 
at the right time, with the right people, at the right circumstances. So it is important for us to uh, ensure that our inner life is uh, what we are actually living and what we're actually showing to others. Because if we don't, and we claim we are believers, we're just going to confuse people. Or we're just going to uh, bring them into losing their salvation if they are already saved. If they're not saved, then they will not really come to Christ. So I encourage you to have integrity and be honest. Um, if uh, we're, not, we're not living our lives as Christians to be perfect. We're living our lives as Christians to be right with God and to follow what God wants us to do. So thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube because uh, I make this every day and I've been doing this for nine years every day so to preach the good news and to be able to bring God's kingdom into uh, people's heart. So I encourage you to check the uh, subscribe to my channel and check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks and photographs because I'm a painter and an artist and I have a copy of the vlog on, on the website as well. Thanks for watching. God loves you so much, and so do I.